Hey everyone, it's Aditi here and welcome to a Minecraft video. Today, I'm gonna speedrun the world seed dream. I finished the run under 16 minutes and it's very hard to do because the world sucks. The challenge in this video is to clutch like three. Hey, wait. Oh, I don't have a shield. Oh, he's kill gone. him. He's gone. He's dead. Oh, yes. Yes. Nice. yes. Oh. Bye, dream. Wait, what? 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 Oh, oh, my God. God. Okay, this world sucks. I don't know to say it in another way or how to say it properly, but this world sucks. It's not good for seed running. Um, I got it under 16 minutes and it's a very bad time for speed running. But it's a good time for this world, for this seed. And now we're gonna make our wooden pickaxe and we're gonna grab some stone here to make ourselves a stone axe. There we go. And we're gonna grab all this tree here this tree all of the wood yeah and on the other side now we're gonna go to the island where the bird treasure is located yeah we need to go to the other island to actually get our iron and some food for later now we're gonna go on to the journey and I sped this up I sped this part up to you know this is very boring if you watch it whole and yeah we arrived in the island now we're gonna go up to this hill to actually grab our bird treasure loot and ta -da! and now we're gonna go under the water and grab our flint from these gravels put our pressure plate so we can breathe underwater and make more sticks yeah and make our iron tools and a bucket then we need to dig gravel to get some flint and we got it like on the second time and make our flint and steel and go to the lava now and now we're gonna go to the lava pool so the lava pool is like under this island here and there's a spot where I always dig and this is the spot that I'm talking about and we're gonna dig down all the way down and you can see lava pops and we're gonna make our portal here I'm actually getting good at making this portal because I know where, exactly where should I put the, the water and the block and now we're going inside the nether so yeah uh, I've talked about the challenge that I will do here and th that challenge is to clutch like dream and the clutch that I will do is a boat clutch it's actually very hard to do because you know it's the timing you need to time it right um, you need to sprint and that's actually new to me you need to sprint to to actually boat clutch and we're gonna make some armor here um, yeah we need we need to sprint to actually boat clutch I don't know why but yeah I'm I'm you'll see later how I did it and it's actually very satisfying if you did it and yeah that's why I love I love dream because he is insanely good at NMLG clutches I don't know if if it is staged but to replicate it to actually do it properly then yeah he's he's actually very good he's a very good minecraft player um now we're gonna go to the spot and yeah this is where i will boat clutch and i'll just let the rest of the video play <coughs> Dream. Oh my, oh my God! God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God.
So yeah, that was insane. It's actually very high and that's that and that's the fastest way to go in this area. And we're actually going to the bastion now, that's why. On that part, it's actually very good to boat clutch. I can do it, you know, I can just ride the boat and go down um safe and sound, but but with this challenge I really need to do that and I was proud of myself to actually do that um, this is like my 20 attempt 20th attempt to actually do that properly and it's actually very very hard to do because you know yeah like I said earlier you need to time it right you need, you need to sprint and um, um, the boat placement yeah and now we're just trying to parker our way to the bastion and we, we need to actually um, bridge here and yeah I'm not that very good at bridging so let's just pretend that did that happen um, yeah I need to practice my bridging skills <laughs> so now uh, there's actually three hoglins here and we need more food to, to continue this run so I'm just gonna burn them with the lava that I got And yeah, let's just kill these hoglins. Kill the hoglins. The one is isn't actually burnt, so I'm just gonna slash it with my axe and kill it with the lava blade. Then yeah, we 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 have seven pork chops with that with those higlin, higlins, <laughs> hoglins, and. Yeah, I don't know what else to say because this is actually very boring part. We just need to go to the bastion and the bastion is very far. That's why this that's why this this seed is not good for speedrunning. But we actually made it. We we actually finished it. We actually speedrun it. Yeah. So you can actually see the bastion, yeah, right on our front and this is a what bastion is this a housing no 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 it's stables it's a stables bastion and and it's that the best bastion there is but it's it's good for for food because there's a lot of hoglins um spawning here <coughs> So we're gonna do the traditional route for this bastion, break that, break this block, that block and that will create a hole for the piglins to stay at and I'm just gonna pour some gold here and a lot of, a lot of piglins, well it's not actually a lot because um, it's like four, there's only four piglins in this part of the bastion and yeah that's why it's not really the best bastion because all the all the piglins here are split up it's, they are actually scattered here so yeah more piglins are coming because i broke the gold blocks on the top and that's actually very good because the more piglins you have the faster the, the trades are coming right so i'm just gonna get the remaining gold blocks here and give it to the piglins normally I will kill hoglins outside but since the three hoglins spawned there earlier I can just stay here and wait for the piglins to trade me all the stuff that I need like pearls um, um, fire res the obsidian and the strings yeah we need a lot of strings and we only got 53 for now that and that's actually very bad for us but later we can we'll get a lot of strings maybe this trade this yeah, yeah yeah and now we can leave i think we're gonna leave now because we got a lot of no no Oh wait, we got more. We got more tra string trades. So yeah, we're gonna leave now, and we need to do it fast because you know this is a speed run. 
you need, you need to do things fast as fast as possible now we're going up and we're gonna go to the tower I mean the tower the fortress that we need to go to the fortress and get the blaze rods from the blazes um throw the pearl and that's actually a very bad pearl like oh sheesh I actually paused there because I got panicked but it ended up good I don't know if if that is cheating but yeah we, I, I know that when you speed running you can actually pause the game logging out the game is not it's not the it's not allowed yeah, yeah that's the word I'm saying I'm thinking about um, we're actually in the fortress now but the spawner is like right there the the pearl where I threw the the true where where now we're gonna drink some fire rest and we actually got one TNT to explode so that's actually very helpful for us now we're gonna blow the TNT um, that's the wrong spot actually in this speed run I learned how to um, explode some TNT yeah because I really don't know how to blaze bed or explode TNT in you know in the spawner area but with this run I actually got interested and tried to practice blaze bedding and TNT exploding so yeah when you have one TNT you just explode it at the back because there's a lot of fence at the back right and when you're blaze bedding you'll try to put it on top and not explode the spawner so at the first try I tried to blaze bed and we, we actually got six blaze rods whoa that's really fast I forget about that um, yeah 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 I remember that's why this is a good run because we got all the blaze rods we need and now we're just gonna go to the we're just gonna go to the um, spot where we need to go where the stronghold is located at and we're just trying to pearl our way there and this is actually a bad pearl because we, we only have four hearts left so I'm just gonna go and put our render distance down and chew some food and put our render distance back and yeah we have a lot of hearts again um, yeah we're gonna go to the stronghold and yeah just dig way here down here and on this path yeah I don't need to actually put my coordinates because I already know the corner where I was supposed to dig at and we need to go to Y level 31 because that's where the Y level of the stronghold in the overworld and now we're gonna make our portal and stick our butt in this wall yeah, yeah on this corner of the portal and tada we are in the portal room that's so amazing this is apparently so hard to do because Curry told me this or you know in a video um, it's actually very hard to do but since I got the coordinates correct the decimal points of the coordinates correct I managed to do it um, properly yeah now we got seven beds here and I don't know if I'm gonna yeah we're gonna craft <laughs> I'm trying to craft a glowstone and I use the the crying obsidian um yeah so I'm gonna craft this respawn anchor to make more explosives but I think seven beds is enough for me to actually kill this dragon so I'm just waiting for the dragon to perch now I'm just trying to manage my inventory preparing for for the perch oh I forgot about this I did I did the north south perch so essentially we need to go to the north side of the island if you press F3 if you face north um, you go north right wait did, did you understand guys um, yeah so this is north I'm facing north so I'm gonna go to the northern part of the island and stay here and oh wait 
This is East West. What? What am I saying? I did East West Purge. What? I forgot. <laughs> so yeah, the dragon is purging. We're almost in the 15 minute minute mark. And I actually got like a 15 minutes. I actually got 15 minutes and 32 seconds, I think. Yeah, maybe maybe it's like we'll we'll see later. We'll see. I, I don't want to spoil it properly. <laughs> spoil it properly. What? I just I don't want to spoil spoil it. The dragon is perching. Yeah. And that's the run. We finish it 15 minutes, 32 seconds, and 10 milliseconds. I learned a lot of stuff in this run, like blaze bedding and and how to boat clutch like trim. So that's the end of the video. I had a lot of fun speedrunning this world, even though this world is not good for speedrunning and it actually sucks. Um, yeah. So if you enjoyed the video, then please press like. But if you love it, make sure to subscribe. Please subscribe, please. And thank you guys for watching. And if you want more videos like this, click these end cards. And yeah. Bye!